This is my fourth attempt at recording a vlog. The first one I scrapped part of the way through, it just wasn't looking right. You saw the intro part of it a little bit earlier. The second one was going to be a tag video, because that's what I looked up online for a recommendation for what to do for Vita today. That ended up being 20 minutes long and mostly boring. There were some interesting parts and kind of funny things. I made some funny, you know. It Nobody was going to watch a 20 minute long tag video. And the last one got ruined by Boo playing around with things and made a whole bunch of noise during the video, so I'm going to try to keep this quick. This is a stream of consciousness video, I'm not going to do a whole bunch of editing. Just there. So, I wanted to talk about dreams, specifically how ridiculously weird my dreams have been lately. I don't know if any of the rest of you have such weird dreams. From what I've been able to tell, my dreams are extremely vivid by comparison to most people. I don't just have one or two senses worth in my dreams. I can smell things, I can taste things, I can touch things. Yes, I am actually able to have tactile sensations in my dreams. I can read in my dreams. Apparently most people can't. I don't know why. I can do pretty much anything in a dream that I do in reality, and then quite a bit more. My dreams as of late, though, have been a little weird, and even more vivid than normal. Uh, for an example, so my job is a Windows Server Administrator. That's what I do for a living. I administer servers that run Windows. There's not really much else to it that I need to describe for this video. My dream was a little weirder. So I was administering servers, except that all of a sudden I got thrown into this brand new project. This project was dealing with state-of-the-art experimental servers. They were nuclear-powered servers. I actually had to little I had to wear a little radiation badge whenever I had to mess around with them. I had to watch out for them going critical and overclocking themselves violently and causing a China syndrome. Not joking. That really was one of the risks in the video. All of them looked like. I don't want to call them Hollywood computers, because that would be a whole bunch of blinking LEDs and things like that. I would go with more what a computer enthusiast would picture a server should look like. So, computer enthusiasts frequently have clear side panels for their computer cases that they've custom built and things like that. Servers don't. Servers are ugly, just letting you know they're really ugly. In this case, though, all of the servers looked like somebody custom created one really nice looking interior, a whole bunch of lights, things like that, server, and then replicated it a few hundred times. Only they had nuclear reactors for power supplies, don't ask. One of the most vivid things I remember, other than being annoyed by the fact that the previous person had left their job and left me to do all of this work, was that I had caught somebody who had their office right next to one of the major server racks. He had wiped the hard drive on the server, installed Windows XP, specifically Windows XP, just so he could listen to music. And he seemed to not care when I was kind of pissed off at him, because, I mean, Windows XP isn't a supported operating system anymore and could violently explode with horrible, horrible catastrophic bugs that would probably kill him because the reactor would go critical. I have no idea where this stuff comes from, other than here. My brain is a very strange place. Perhaps I'll share with you a future weird dream at some point. That'd actually make a really good Thursday or Friday vlog. Good night, Internet. I need to sleep. I'm really tired at this point, and vlogging is not exactly helping my sleep schedule. Good to knock. Oh, are you going to come up here now, Boo Kitty? Come on. Come on up, Boo. Haha, -ha, I have caught a wild Boo Kitty. A wild Boo Kitty approaches. Action? Item. Always choose item. Now I'm going. Good to knock.